While you're out in nature, have you ever felt the presence of something ancient? Something timeless, wise, and deeply connected to Earth? Today, we're going to be talking about my absolute love for nature and trees. But not only this natural and beautiful obsession, but the fact that I feel as if the trees are trying to communicate through me to you. Bringing humanity messages of hope, clarity, and rooting yourself back to a time where our feet touched the ground, our eyes in the sky, and our hands connected to the trees. These are the times that we awaken and hear the whispers of our ancestors that we so desperately need as guidance here on Earth. The noise, the chaos, the influence that daily life can have on us separating us from the real life, pure consciousness in every moment. It can blind us, deafen us, separating us from what truly matters. In moments of quiet reflection, when we slow down and listen, I walk among them. I can feel their whispers, their energy, regenerating and renewing my thoughts and my heart. The trees have been here long before us, holding stories of generations past, nurturing the land and breathing life into the air we share. When I film, I wonder, are the trees speaking through me through the lens to you, the people who watch these videos, what messages do they wish to share with us? What lessons do they hold for our collective growth? While on my journeys into the trees, I hope to serve as their voice, a voice that reminds us of the beauty, the wisdom, and the sacred connection we share with the natural world. They communicate in stillness, in patience. I have a sneaking suspicion they remember us and wait for our visits. Their roots, like deep rivers of wisdom, extend far beyond our understanding. connecting everything in a vast network beneath the surface. Can you feel their energy when you're relaxing in nature? Are the trees guiding us, teaching us, asking us to listen more closely to the earth? Did you know that trees can communicate with one another through a complex underground network known as the Wood Wide Web? This network is made up of fungi form a symbiotic relationship with the tree roots. Trees use this fungal network to send nutrients, water, and even warning signals to other trees. This is how they support each other in the times of need, like sharing resources with weaker or younger trees. Memories. In my research, I discovered that trees do in fact store memories. Scientists have discovered that trees can remember past experiences and adapt to the future challenges based on those memories. For example, trees exposed to drought conditions will adjust their water usage to conserve resources more efficiently the next time a drought occurs. This ability to retain and act upon past experiences highlight their incredible adaptability and wisdom in surviving changing conditions. Social support. Forests are often seen as communities where trees exhibit altruistic behaviors. Older or more established trees, sometimes called mother trees, will send extra nutrients to younger saplings or ailing trees. They essentially nurture the next generation and help ensure the survival of an entire ecosystem. This showcases tree social networks and their capacity to care for one another. Only socially care for one another 
but they support animals, insect, and humanity overall. Climate. Trees play a crucial role in regulating the Earth's climate. They absorb carbon dioxide, CO2, from the atmosphere and release oxygen, which is essential for life, obviously. A single mature tree can absorb up to 48 pounds of CO2 per year and produce enough oxygen for two people. Forests also help stabilize weather patterns by maintaining the water cycle, creating clouds, and influencing rainfall. Without trees, we wouldn't be here. I'd like you to remember that the next time you pass one without saying hello or simply thanking them in your mind for their existence. Sharing this globe together as one. When it comes to improving life on Earth beyond absorbing the CO2, trees also filter harmful pollutants like nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and ozone from the air. Their roots help prevent soil erosion, while their canopies slow rainfall, allowing it to gently seep into the ground and purify before reaching water sources. Forest areas tend to have cleaner rivers and lakes due to the natural filtration process from the trees. When it comes to trees and human health, studies have shown that being around trees can improve human health in a significant way. Exposure to forest environments, often referred to as forest bathing, has been proven to lower stress hormones, improve mood, boost immune function, and reduce blood pressure. Two summers ago, I did 120 days of forest bathing and it literally changed my life. So I recommend it to anybody looking for some extra happiness. Trees are not just crucial for the environment, they're also essential for human well-being, both mentally and physically overall. This isn't a replacement for any medical treatments, but if you are struggling with mental health, I highly, highly suggest visiting some local trees and noting the effects it has on your mind. I feel their excitement when I bring new people or leave them gifts like crystals, fruits, and other beautiful offerings. Communicating stress. I find it fascinating that trees can send chemical signals when they're under attack by pests or disease. For instance, when a tree is attacked by insects, it releases airborne chemicals called volatile organic compounds, VOCs. These VOCs alert nearby trees, prompting them to activate their own defenses, like producing chemicals that make their leaves less palatable to insects. This kind of tree talk shows how connected trees are and how they share information for mutual survival. Spiritual Wisdom In many cultures around the world, trees are seen as symbols of wisdom, longevity, and protection. The ancient Selks, for example, believed that trees were ancestors of mankind and that each tree possessed its own spirit. Trees like the oak and the you were seen as gateways to higher realms of consciousness and were used in rituals to connect with the divine. 
In spiritual practices today, trees are often regarded as grounding forces that help humans connect with the earth and access deep wisdom. Waking up the trees, teaching them to speak. It's been shown in so many movies and entertainment that trees play a primary role in the film of life. We should support their leading parts that they play in our stories too. There have also been YouTubers that have dedicated their entire channels to talking about trees. Biodiversity. Trees provide habitats for countless species of animals, insects, and plants. An oak tree, for an example, can support more than 500 different species of life from birds and squirrels to insects and fungi. Forests are critical biodiversity acting as ecosystems that sustain a huge variety of life, many of which cannot survive without the tree's presence. Thank goodness for our trees. Ancient trees. Some trees live for thousands of years, bearing witness to the rise and fall of civilizations. The oldest known tree, a bristlecone pine named Methuselah, is over 4,800 years old. Trees like this serve as a living monument of history and carry with them the energy of wisdom of time. Many ancient cultures revered such trees as sacred, often believing them to be the keepers of secrets and knowledge from eras long past. It's been a very reflective journey for me as I open myself up to nature's messages and embrace the possibilities that nature and trees have been guiding me towards a deeper understanding of my place in the world. I hope you enjoyed listening to the trees together and please let me know in the comments what you hear. Until next time. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel and I just want to say thank you for stopping by.